All right, guys. My dad and I are back out here for your last episode of our Texas Dirt Series. The hunting season is over, um, and we are out here in these ground blinds. Probably not going to survive if we leave them out here all year long. So we're going to pull these off and uh, take them back home. Mine and Dad's. We got some repairs to do on Dad's feeder. Um, and then here briefly today, I'm going to kind of just explain to you guys what our plan is going into the off season and how what we're going to do with this place to get ready for next year. So stay tuned. <laughs> So this is the, the location in the feeder where you guys saw me spend most of my season this year. Um, like we just showed, we pulled the ground blind. I'm gonna take it back so it just didn't get tore up with the with the wind and the elements in the summertime here in Texas. We're gonna leave the feeder and we're gonna feed year round. One of the reasons that we feel like we couldn't get a definitive pattern on our deer is because they haven't been hunted before. So they're not used to having a consistent food source like this. So we're gonna keep this running year round and hopefully maybe start incorporating maybe some more protein and some other stuff into what we're feeding later in the year. But for now, just give them a reason to keep coming back here. So um, the plan is to do the same with dad's, but we gotta do some repairs to his. So that's where we're heading next um, to go get that stuff. All right, so this is dad's blind. Where he spent most of his season. What's that? Little more worse for wear than mine. Mine was beat up, but um, Dad had the cows get into his once, if not more. And with it just being on top of this hill right here, the wind just whips through here and tears it up. So definitely shows you guys the reason we're pulling our ground blinds off because they would, they literally would not survive if we left them out here year long. They'd be in another county. Um, as far as this location, future plans, we're actually going to try to dad wants to move the stand farther to the east we've actually been scouting some areas back in here in this tree line right here where he's seen a lot of deer come and go um, in the hours that he spent in the stand so um, that's kind of the plan for next year the only reason we're not moving the feeder today and we're just taking it down is because we've had some issues with the timing mechanism on that feeder and i really just needed to bring it back to the house and fix it up and then next month we'll bring it back out here same thing with that as we did with mine as far as feeding um, year round so but for when we do bring it back out next month and in season two of Texas dirt you'll see us put it up back there in those tree lines and got an idea on maybe a spot that we want to go for so you guys will have to watch season two to, to get all that but we're gonna get this blind tore down and go down there and get the feeder uh, tore down as well. <laughs> All right guys, so that is it. And a wrap on season one of Texas Dirt. Um, got the camper hooked up, all packaged up. We're gonna start heading home with that. Finish the remodel stuff that we had to do on it before next season, obviously. Kind of the plan moving forward is we're gonna try to do one workday out here a month um, to get ready for next season. 
and that's going to include finding new spots for other stand setups and actually putting bringing those stand setups to life and putting stuff out here in the woods so that's what you guys can expect as we kick off season two here in a couple months appreciate you guys watching season one a lot more good stuff to come out here on this texas dirt property thank you all for watching